what the amazing Jimi Hendrix does in between the chords is today's topic. These ideas are based on some techniques he used in the tune, Hey Joe. This is so much easier than it looks. Grab your guitar and let's get into it. Let's quickly look at the chords we're going to use today. C major. G major. D major. A major. E major. Next we look at the rhythm, the beats and measures for each one of these chords. So in context, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure you get that rhythm down, that right hand. It really doesn't stop moving during this type of playing. Now, if you're just starting to do this, you probably want to use the full chords. Jimmy used his thumb all the time over the top. Some of you might not be comfortable with that. I'm not all the time myself, but I grab the full chord, maybe just the top the, or the bottom strings of the chord sometimes. But I'm going to show you a lot of this with the full chords, but you can definitely use your thumb. Because that's what Jimmy did a lot. If you can do that, it hats off to you because it's a great way to play. I have a lot of arthritis in my hands. It's, it's really hard for me. And it's hard to actually play a bar chord at times too. But you got to just find a way to make it sound good. So look, let's just look at each movement from a C chord. You're really just sliding up to the major third from the root note here. You put your ring finger on the fifth fret and slide up to seven. Major third. And then hit a little piece of the chord here in the fifth fret on the D and G strings. That's a C. And you can do that movement with each chord. So G sliding up to seven. Major third is a B note there. And then you're hitting in the fifth fret the A and D strings. It sounds real raw. And then do the same thing with the next two chords, the same exact shapes. And then hit the open E, then the E chord. So this little turnaround E minor pentatonic lick You're hammering on from three to five on the B string, but you're having the E open E ring as you do it. it sounds really good. Then four on the G string and pulling down to two. Then open G and then on two on the D string is an E note. Just you can use E minor pentatonic licks as a turnaround every time before it goes back to the C chord. Really can really improvise with that. This one is five to seven, five, five, seven on the E note here. Five to 
This is really a simplified version of what Jimi Hendrix does, but this will really get you going. You can extend these triad shapes. Taking the C, that major third movement, Sliding up to a G triad, nine, seven, eight is a, is a G chord. Then right as you let go of that and leave the bar here on, on the seventh fret is a D chord. And that same movement that I showed you a little bit ago. up to an A triad, 11, 9, 10, and just a quick pentatonic lick to go back to E. Half bend on 12, 9, 12, 9, open E. I can't stress enough to get this rhythm in your right hand. Have that, that really good up and down motion with your right hand through all these chords. Make sure you have that before you start adding elements of, the, of these movements and stuff because you're, they're going to be a mess if you don't have a tight rhythm.